I'm Haley Thomas, wellness and compassion activist and the author of the empowerment cookbook Living Lively and this is Cook With Us with Well and Good. Today I'm super excited to share with you one of my favorite recipes which is a sun-dried tomato and walnut taco. Now this is a staple from the beginning of my plant-based days. This is really where I was in a very experimental phase trying to see really all that I could create with plants and I was pleasantly surprised by how diverse uh, walnuts are and also the many different spices that we've gotten here, the smokiness of chili powder and cumin and just how we can create this whole new uh, plant-based experience. And so these tacos are really fun, it's super creative and it's a completely new experience. So if you're feeling adventurous, definitely dive into this recipe. Okay, let's get started. Let's make our walnut tacos. So the first step for this recipe is of course to incorporate our uh, walnut meat or create our sun-dried tomato and walnut meat. And so here I have some whole walnuts or shelled walnuts and um, I love using this in the recipe just because of not only the crunchiness and the nutty flavor but also the fact that walnuts are super high in plant-based omega-3s and antioxidants so you're getting that boost there but it's also very filling so it grounds our taco meat. So what I'm going to do is just add this to the bowl of a food processor. Perfect. And now I'm going to add in some sun-dried tomatoes with the oil removed. So all I did was just drain the oil off and I love sun-dried tomatoes. Um, it has such a nice and deep, rich flavor. It really just brings out the best of tomatoes in my opinion, but it also has this delicious um, texture as well. It's got this nice chewiness and that really helps add to the meaty uh, aspect of our tacos. So in that goes. Then I have a spice blend of cumin, chili powder, cayenne powder, and some onion powder as well. And these are just southwestern spices that I absolutely love. So we've got our spices in there. Next, going to add in some cilantro. Favorite herb of mine, but if you do not like cilantro, feel free to swap it out for parsley. And finally, adding in some tamari for some saltiness, but also a little bit of that umami flavor. Perfect. So now all we're going to do is pulse this together. Um, I would say about two to five times or until all the ingredients are well incorporated, but we've still retained the texture of the walnuts and the sun-dried tomato a bit. We definitely don't want it to become a paste, just a nice in-between uh, where we have that crunchiness and that chewiness maintained, but also all of our ingredients are combined. So now that we've got our walnut meat done, we're just going to set this aside and whip up our cilantro aioli, which is just a nice refreshing and light pop to go on top. Again, um, you know, I love really balancing these kind of grounded flavors with a little bit of lighter, more acidic flavors as well. And so that's really what the cilantro aioli represents and provides in this dish. Okay, I've got my favorite tiny food processor on hand, and now we're just going to add in all the ingredients for our cilantro aioli. So here I have some vegan mayo. Um, you can use whatever brand you'd like. Most of them pretty much uh, are pretty similar, so I'm just going to add in what was available at my store. Perfect. Next, adding in some lime juice. cilantro and two garlic cloves. And I just love that this aioli is going to be green, uh, my fa one of my favorite colors. So it's just a dish that is so vibrant, it makes you happy, like you feel joy eating this because of how uh, colorful it is and nourishing it is. Next, adding in some freshly grated lime zest and cumin. Finally, a little bit of avocado oil, plus some salt to taste. Beautiful. Okay, 
Now we're just going to give this a blend. I uh, want to make sure that we blend this and puree it until it's really smooth, um, ensuring that all of those ingredients are well incorporated. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it smells amazing. And the green color is like perfect. I love it. Okay, so just going to add this into container here. Yum! Now all we're going to do is just assemble this. Let's do it. Try to make it nice and pretty. There we go. Oh, the walnut taco meat looks so good right now. I'll just add in some tomatoes, some jalapeno slices. Oh, it just looks so fresh and vibrant. A little bit of red onion. Before I add my fresh cilantro on top, Let's add a dollop of our aioli. Okay, let's give it a try. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a really awkward bite, so I just wanna apologize <laughs> in advance. Here we go. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm. So delicious. I love the like instant uh, hit of smokiness. I love the hint of spice. And then that aioli just brings this brightness, this lightness um, that really ties the taco together as a whole. And the lettuce is just so light and refreshing. Like the layers here, this is, this is very complex and in the best way possible. I will probably want to go for seconds after this, but be sure to subscribe to Well and Good, and I'll see you sometime soon.